Hello and welcome to the third video in my Java course. So in this video we're going to be looking at modifiers, but also we're going to be looking at how Java structures both its files and folders. So let's begin. So as always, I try and reduce what we need to learn from these videos into five key points. So you need to remember this five pieces of information. Number one, a single file of code can, turn, can contain only one public class which means that we will need to create multiple files for multiple classes as our code gets bigger and bigger. What we do to group these is to create packages. So you need to remember that a package is used to group related classes. So you need to think of it as a folder of all our classes. Second of all, the modifier, which is our key point, this allows us to access the mod method that we're using from within the class, outside the class, within the package, or outside the package. So basically anywhere. So if you want your method to be accessed anywhere, you say public. Private only allows the method to be accessed from within the class. Protect. Protected allows the method to be accessed from, from within the package and outside the package. Um, however, to access the code from outside, you must make a child class and we'll explain a little bit about what child classes are in later videos. And the last one, if you forget to uh, add any public uh, modifier on, or any modifier onto any method, it will automatically be default and default means that, that the method can be accessed from only within the package. Okay, let's look at some real code and some real good questions. So the first thing that you need to do or need to know is that um, we have three pieces of information. The one is the file structure. Number two links up to, this is the code for this Java file. And this is the code for this Java file. So from that, can you answer these questions? Stop the video and see if you can. So hopefully you've stopped the video. Let's go through some of the answers. How many packages are there? Well, there's two packages. We've got one here, we've, we've created one here, and we've created one here. What are the names of the packages? Well, they have to link up to your folder. So, the main package is linked up to the main folder, and the P1 package is linked up to the P1 folder. So we have main package and P1 package. How does the code get from section two to section three? Well, because we are trying to go and call this method here, we need to first import that into the main code because this is the one that we're going to be running first because it's the main one. So what we're saying is this import saying, hey, find that package P1 and import everything from that folder. So that's how we can get that code into section two. How do we create a package? Well, all we need to do is if we have a folder, we can just say package main, but it needs to link up to the folder because remember that's how we're grouping all of our classes. Um, will this code work? Yes, it will work. Um, what will happen is we'll display this information, we'll call it here, and it will display and print out hello world. Um, explain why the code will work and think about access modifier. Well, for us to get this information here, we have to declare this public, because remember, this means that we can access this, this method from outside our own package and it's outside our class so this is why it will work because we've chosen the correct access modifier okay so let's look at some other code it's slightly different but very similar just have a look at the access modifiers that have changed all the packet and the names and the import remains the same so knowing this will this code work Pause the video and see if you can answer those questions. So hopefully you've paused the video. Let's go through them. So this code will not work. So the access modifier for the display method is 
nothing. And because it's nothing, that must mean it's the default one. And because it's the default access modifier, we can't access this from a different package. So this would not be able to call this, and so it will get an error. What about number four? If we change this method to a protect, will it work? So if we added protect here, will it work? Well, this will still produce an error because remember, protect, you have to have a child class within it. So we've not created a child class, and so it will not access this from outside the package unless we have that child class. So it would also produce that error. Okay, so we've learned quite a lot. We've covered quite a lot. Um, let's check your knowledge to see how well you've uh, rem you can remember the information from the video. So are you able to remember all the key words from the video, all the different access modifiers? Uh, even better, can you complete this table? So if you can complete this table, it's a great job. And lastly, uh, what are the important keywords or steps for working with packages? So if you can answer this one or if you can answer this one, please leave a comment below. Again, if you want to continue learning um, with this MTA course or you're enjoying it, like or subscribe to the channel. So thank you very much and see you in the next video. Goodbye.